explore the Juniper basic CLI. Okay. Uh, there are two Juniper routers I have connected via Geek000 in the emulator and we are going to explore the Juniper CLI. Let's consider, so you are a guy who are in the who is in the data center and you have got the Juniper box delivered and you just want to power on the Juniper router and then check the basic things whether everything is up whether the FEC is up or he is fine and power supply is loaded correctly in order to check everything I'm gonna guide you how to do that let's start okay so by default when you it, when you log into the router right without any configuration it's a plain box right we just powered on so default there won't be any username configured so you have to log in with root then you have to click cli okay now we are in the cli mode first thing you have to check is what is the routing engine status and what is the fpc status so in a data center once you power on the router right so you do, we don't put FPC card on the slot, right? So we just put the routing engines and check the status. Show chassis routing engine. So this command will tell us what is the routing engine status. As I'm using VMX, virtual MX. So I cannot see two routing engines currently i have loaded only one routing engines one re so but in real time when you buy a hardware physical hardware you will be having two routing engines one is in the slot zero and another one is in slot one so by default the current state and the slot zero will be the master and the slot one will be the backup and in this it will tell you what is the dram capacity installed what is the memory utilization on the router what is the CPU utilization on the router within 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute and 5 seconds interval it will tell you and next thing is what is the model so this is a, a VMX right so here it is saying VMX suppose in case your uh, uh, routing engine is MX240, MX104, MX18, 480, 960 so it will tell you what is the model of your router and what is the start time right this is the start time of the router and how much time it is up and second is this one important thing so you can see last reboot reason sometimes right so the router reboots due to the power or due to some uh, electric activity or abnormal electric issue so here you can say the reason what is the last reboot reason for that here you can see that okay so if, suppose if it is in slot one is routing engine one is also loaded then you can see in the slot one but we don't have slot one so we have only slot so it is only the master so this is the slot zero routing engine is the master one okay then second we are going to check the status of the fpc fpc okay so as this is the status of the fpc which is in online and uh, this should not be interesting as this is in vmx it is always be interesting only because it's a but in the real time the output will be may differ actually all will be different i'll test you guys i'll always put that what is the status once i log into my physical hardware I'll post it in the video in the last okay and it will tell you what is the CPU utilization what is the memory utilization what is the heap utilization everything it will tell you actually what is the buffer what is the buffer capacity of the uh, FPC everything it will tell you in this command and you want to go detail can you show detail so it will tell you what is the temperature what is the RAM what is the uh, what is the RAM and what is the start time of time of the FPC everything it will tell you guys okay the next is show chassis hardware okay so you want to see now you have loaded all the fpc now you want to see what are what are the fpc or detector right so for that you have to execute this command show chassis hardware so this command will tell you list all the hardwares on your router so it will list what is routing engine and cb0 cb1 it is in the chassis factory zero or chassis fabric one or fec zero fec one two whether the what is the mic zero peak whatever is installed in the router this command will tell you and if you give more detail it will display the serial number as well so this serial number right part number is very helpful when you want to suppose you have, have already issue you want to raise a tag case 
So in that case, the serial with the serial number, you have to write a case with Juniper. So this is very helpful command to know the part number. Also, you suppose in case you you cannot log in every time, right? Just make a note of the serial number, and then whenever you want to log a case with Juniper, you can use that. Yeah. So suppose you are change the part number, right? So that time you have to maybe you can make a list. This is my serial number. This is the next part number I change. So you can make a list of the serial numbers which you have received and replaced. So next <clears throat> we are going to uh, this is the uh, command and suppose uh, okay you want to see any alarms on the chassis. The simple command show chassis alarm will explain you what is the alarm is present. No alarm currently active. So there is no alarm in case if there is any hardware alarm or any uh, power alarm, power is low voltage. So all the information, chassis related information on the router will display displayed here. So show system alarm. It will show you whether the RD is present, whether RD is absent, or it will see, you can see that SQ configuration is not set. This is related to the system. So is there any issue with the system? It will set the alarms. Yeah, here you can see the alarm, show system alarms output. The next thing that we are going to Look is the version. Sorry, for most thing is you have to check the version. So you don't know whether it's there any bug when you face some issue on any protocol or any bug related issue. So this is the command. It will tell you what is the version you are running. And this is I am running VMIX with 18.4 or 1.8 version. And you can see suppose in case you want to know any specific feature is enabled on this Juno or you need a, some package. To be in, to be no to be installed right so you can give show version detail here it will tell you or it will show you all the packages in all installed on this version so you just have to pipe and match it will tell you suppose uh, it will say let's say it's uh, I <coughs> RPD right so RPD is already installed so it's like this VLRP is also is there so like that you can match the specific uh, protocol features right and then <coughs> it will display here. Uh, let's say I have a two routing engines are here, uh, routing engine zero, routing engine one. So how do I check routing engine one version? So it's simple, show version, you know, as a routing engine. So this command, because I don't have a routing engine one installed, so I cannot see what is the version of the other routing engine. But this command will help you to see the version of the other routing engine. Okay. Next is to list the uh, file, right? So file list. Right, this will show you what is the list of file on the location. Currently, I logged in the root. So these are the files in the root location. Suppose you want to see the file list on the slash where slash temp. So you can see these files, right? So <clears throat> what all the files it's it's there in the slash where slash temp. Otherwise, slash where slash log where the or uh, all the log messages are saved on the router. So this is the command to show. Okay, file list. Just keep remember this suppose you want to file delete any file you can just give file any delete then slash var slash temp and you can mention the file name so which you want to delete this is a direct way cannot delete but yeah if you create a file and then you want to delete you can do it okay if you want i will show you how to start shell right so the i space slash var slash temp Test. All right. So this file will be there in file list. Let's let's start them. You can see there is a file called test, right? So you want to delete it. File delete. You have to mention the path slash where slash temp and test. The file will be deleted. So next is how to come first slash slash log. So by default, if you face any issue, the Juniper first thing will ask is, can you send us the var logs? So that we will see what are the incidents happen in the var log. Right? For that, uh, suppose in case you are not a root user or you don't have the root password, how do I get that? So for that, from the PLA side, there is option to get it. So just file archive compress source file sources 
slash var slash plus slash any into destination is slash var slash m just say it's if, uh, if this is an re0 re0 dot tg z format yeah fine so file list slash var slash temp here you can see so if you give detail it will show you the dates and everything what is the size of the file it is saved so here you can see that so this file you can give it to juniper for the log analysis next thing is if suppose something has happened to the fpc or something the routing engine or any process has crashed how do you know show system folder there it will tell you to here it will list where what is the process got affected and whether any code dump is created for that using this command you can list the code dump details okay because i don't have any code dump because this is just a vmx which i've done but in real time vmx also will have suppose any process got uh, you know uh, rebooted due to some bug or some issue so it will generate the code dumps so that there uh, can the vendor can open the code dump and see what is the reason for it okay so next is so uh, let's see what are the process right so what are the process which will be uh, running on my router and what is what are those so show system process like strong right? so this command will tell you what is the process okay, running on router suppose you are enabling some protocols how do you check let's say i have a routing engine rpd right five my rpd Right. It will show what is the process number for the RPD. Like that for each process, each protocol you enable. So there will be default process will be there on the router. Okay. Suppose you want to kill, suppose that the, there is some process which is creating some issue and you just want to restart. So you just request system uh, process restart. System process, sorry, terminate. It will ask you what is the pro terminate process ID. This is the process ID I want to terminate. Yes. Now the code dump will be generated. Probably should. Sure. Yeah. No, it's not. So let you know, guys, what is the process? What is the uh, just a normal way? We will need it, right? So there is a separate process command to generate a code dump if you want to do manually. But uh, from the CLI, it cannot be done. You have to go to the shell and you have to execute the command. So that it will create the code dump and restart the process. Next is what are the open connections on the router? Let's say if an hacker is there or someone is trying to hack your box, which is more, most of the uh, M Juniper or Nokia or Cisco, they are placed in the uh, internet facing router. So let's say what are the open ports uh, by default enable on the router. So each version have different, uh, maybe one version have that port closed, one version has the port open. But to check that one, so you have to check show system connections. So this command will show you what is the protocol, what is the protocol type and what is the local and foreign address which is listening and whether what is the state, whether it is listening or it is uh, or something. So let's say five match. I'm sorry, I'm not sure BGP is not configured. So BGP is not configured, right? So <clears throat> I don't see this port is open. Uh, let me see this. No, I think if you configure any protocol, then you will be able to see the uh, protocol uh, open connections going through that. Uh, maybe once we do the configurations in the next coming videos, then we'll be able to see this port 179 open for BGP. Okay. So yeah, this is the basic checks actually. And there is a more command show PFE statistics. This command traffic, sorry. This command will tell you what are the uh, traffic which is going towards the PFE and what is the worst PF allow local protocol statistics, whether is there any packets or something dropped due to the hardware. Uh, so all the things it will be displayed here actually so you can use this command to display that output and see you can itself see is there any drop on the show pfe statistics traffic show system statistics 
so this command will tell you what is the packet is sent what is the data retransmitted what is the row packet so for each protocol it will tell you so in case suppose that icmp is dropping so it will tell you what is the reason for the icmp drop what is the whether the icmp uh, messages are so for the each protocol towards the re from the router you can see this this command is very helpful in case if you face any protocol issues right so this you can execute this command and see is there any drop on the particular protocol so next is uh, this is done this is the basic st basics troubleshooting that we can do from the cli level uh, rdcl level next is i'm going to show you what are the interface are there and how to check and how to configure the basic interface right basic and configuration interface how do you know if uh, configure of our ipv4 and ipv6 what is the difference between the uh, other vendor and juniper we are going to explore it show interface tos right this is the command uh, is uh, to check that interface detail as you can see right so there is two interface which is like pipe match emm so this interface is the uh, communication like uh, internal communication between the routing engine and and your fcc right this is the interface where the, how the traffic is Oh, sorry this em1 or em0 this will be the communication between the cb and the routing engine so at the end once the traffic is goes via cb it is to connect to the fpc so this is the main connection em0 and em1 there are two interface internal interface will be created and one more interface you can see which has fpc em sorry fxp uh, this is the out of management band out of band or management interface for the fxp actually which is used this access fxp uh, it is always recommended that you should not include this in the any routing right so it will not uh, create any issue uh, if you add this may it might create an issue so it's always better not to include this in any protocols fxp interfaces let's go let's see let's explore more uh, cli is done let's explore more on the configuration how to do the basic configuration so you can give edit or edit ex private so edit private exclusive in this mode suppose if anyone if you are doing content it will not allow anyone to do commit unless you do the commit and come on said here it's a warning is included see uh, excuse requested uncommitted changes will be discovered in excuse so this is the main component. So if you don't suppose if you think the configuration not good, you just have to exit. So it will not do any, you know, it will just discard. It will not be seen, right? If you go to edit private exclusive. So the next is uh, by default uh, the root password will not be set. So set system root authentication saying that password, and you can give any password you want to give. Command command and password, and you want to commit. Okay, here the commit is there are three options. This is commit, confirm. You can give one more. So, so what the, what this so I didn't do any changes. So that's why they told us to exit and edit and do some random business test system services. Tell us the system services is the path. Commit ten point one. Right, because I enable this aside, so it is giving me this command. So, uh, this is created. Yes, actually. So here you can see the commit confirmed in the road back within one minute. What is the use of this commit confirmed in Juniper? So when you give commit confirm, right? So what it does? Suppose in the real time production, uh, you are doing some changes, and suddenly you want to test for a minute whether this change will affect any other traffic on the router which is passing to or across anywhere in the network so you just have to give commit confirm for five minutes or two minutes it depends on your wish and you can watch the changes is there anything is happening so if you want to feel nothing is happening to the network you just have to commit so that the changes will be saved if you don't do commit what it does it will roll back the change automatically you don't have to do anything okay now we can say show system services we enable generate an ssh code both are enabled. So you can ask, how are you doing? So I'm just doing the console. So just now I'm just uh, installing and just configure the SSH and the telnet. Next interfaces, right? So in any, right? So in any, in June, anywhere you want to set something, you have to use set command. Set means you are going to commit. Say, I'm going to do it. Do this work. 
which set will tell this like do this what do this for that you have to use set set interface g i f n 0 square 0 square 0 and you have to give unit then you can wish you know, give it 0 1 2 3 is as per us and what is the family address family it, it means like it's family what is this family is my family or other family something like that the family it means address family and so what is the family address family then inet there are two things inet is equivalent to ipv4 and inet 6 is equal to ipv4 6 sorry ipv6 and address and what address Set and uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 slash 31 I'm configuring. Okay. Suppose we can, either way, we can configure. Yeah, we can go step by step, edit. It's not like uh, do this. I'm going into the configuration. Okay. So I cannot do configuration with the edit, like set the configuration with the edit. So if I give it, will show me the error. Unit 0, family inet address. See? It will go to the particular INRC. Right, it will go to the PyC ladder. I can ask, can we set anything? Yes, there are a lot of commands to set it as disable. Set, see, set this, set disable. Up is the command you want to come up one hierarchy, right? Come down to one hierarchy, sorry. So you have to use up command, right? So family inlet. Yeah, right set disable so you can disable but you cannot give edit disable so it won't work suppose you want to configure at the end of the line so you set disable edit won't work for that it is just go to the hierarchy level of the configuration line so we have configured so always suppose you want to go to the top of the hierarchy right the starting hierarchy you have to use this command top to come there and you have to give commit Yes, I give comment. Exit. Okay. So let me quickly uh, uh, configure the router. So root, there's no password by default. I'm going to configure edit. And by default, it will come with auto image. So I'm telling that is comment. Set. Interface, this is zero. I can give suppose you don't have to give unit zero, you just have to give dot zero that works in Juniper. I think unit zero family and that address that is give 10 0, 0 dot one slash 31. So come it and then ping where your one full screen is working and remote and yeah, successful. You brought the interface and show interface first. I must be this zero, zero, zero. Yeah, it says family inet. It's not inet six. If you enable IPv six, it will show as an inet six. So IPv six will be covered in a different uh, section. We'll explain you what is IPv, how to do the subnetting, all what is the difference between v four and v six, uh, how the current market on v six. All this we will discuss in a separate video. So let's do some interface statistics analysis. Ping 10.0.0 and get will do the continuous ping. And say monitor, monitor interface. You can give monitor interface. Tell you what is the in packet, what is the out packet, is going, what is the input error, output error, all the details you can show via monitor interface. And then you have to get show interface, gig 0 square 0 square 0. The two option extensive is there, detail is there. So you can see all what is the uh, input and output, what is the MAC address of the device, and what is the index, what is the SNMP index, what is the interface index, and what is the speed, BPDU, everything is be available in the extensive command actually. So once you get this, so you can see we have configured unit zero here. Let's let me go up. Here you can see the unit zero, the logical interface we created on the physical 
So see what is the input byte, what is the local traffic statistics, everything will be shown for the particular. Suppose in case you have multiple interface, you have multiple VLAN, right? So that can that then you can use this command and particular unit, which will tell you unit means I'm telling the sub interface, sub unit. So this one I'm telling uh, I, I unit means this is the mean in terms of Juniper terms, unit means this last number. So you just have to give this and see what are the traffic is passing through that particular interface. So there are a lot of things are there in basics, but uh, I think uh, for this session, this is the trap of Juniper and part two we will see more about the Juniper, how to configure SSH, how to configure Telnet, which I have already shown, but how to configure NTP, all those basic uh, uh, router configurations, we'll see it in the next video. Next video. Before logging off, I'm gonna guys show you how to reboot the router. Require system reboot and will reboot your router or if you want to do only the uh the question instead of that you want to reboot only one routing engine the, let's say this is a master you want to reboot both more routing engines it will reboot both the routing engines otherwise you want to do other routing engine it will do the backup routing engine or if you are in re0 it will reboot re1 if you are in re1 it will reboot re2 so either way suppose if you give the request system you will reboot this full so this is a command to reboot the routing engine and you want to reboot like fec request chassis fec restart restart slot zero sorry for the mistake sorry see fec one is rebooted so chassis fec and it is restarted by cmn right Foremost thing I forgot. So how to check the log? Show log messages. This is the most effective command for any troubleshooting. You just have to give this command, show log messages. It will see system is abnormal shutdown. You can see the log is initiated right from the event. What is the event? What is an event? Event is kind of the event so it just happened on the router. So this log message is explained in the show log event messages, right? Event in the var log, right? Where you can find this log for separate and explain what is happened actually so these are the log messages are generated so you can see right so one more thing in the log message there are different vendor will use different right so in juniper the old messages right so you can see the new messages will come first what is the latest sorry not the latest i think that's in that that's in nokia so where the recent messages will come right so there are a lot of message files you can see message dot zero dot i don't know what are the messages are there because uh, it just started so there have been not much messages but if you want to view the older messages then you have to see message dot zero dot one dot gz like that so all these messages you can see it here see so what are the message you want to see so long chassis d so what are happening in chassis d it will tell you what are the messages is happening in chassis this is the command to execute the log messages and i hope you guys enjoy and keep supporting me i'll post more videos on juniper and like explore more on juniper thank you guys have a nice day bye and last last word sorry sorry last class if you like this video do subscribe share and like thank you